Well, hello again, YouTube. It's PD Two Finger, and while it is not New Guitar Day, it's uh, New Guitar Parts Day. So this is a bullet, a Fender Squire, a bullet Squire that I got for fifty bucks. It was a black Strat. So I, I sanded it down. I took, removed all of the parts on the guitar, sanded it down, used a rattle can and primed it, and then I used a little airbrush rig to apply poster paint that I bought at the dollar store. I painted the neck. Uh, I put in a graph tech nut. These are locking uh, tuners that I got off of eBay or AliExpress more than likely. And then locking uh, or roller string trees. I got me a decal, a Fender Stratocaster decal. And then Today, these brass knobs came in. I had these black knobs that had mother of toilet seat in the center, and they didn't feel... Cool. These are like rounded. It's got a gold tremolo bar that I chopped to Dave Gilmore specs. It's just, it's just a shorter. It's not as long. And that's it fits in my hand more comfortably and better. It's a stock tremolo. This, this is stock. The pick guard is stock. The... Jack plate is stock, the neck plate is stock. Everything else pretty much has been replaced. Uh, it's got nice uh, giant potentiometers in it, real big pots. And then these brass knobs, that's what I finished up today. And uh, they match the gaudy gold tremolo arm. But yeah, these are more for feel and they're real heavy and they got a crisscross, I don't know if you can see that. There's like a crisscross pattern. These are some really cool knobs. So, finish this one up today. I'm a happy boy. This is a really good playing strat because it's the neck is great. A lot of the, well, okay, I played a couple squires where the sides of the neck where the fingerboard meets the neck was sharp. It was just kind of pointy. And I didn't like the way that felt. My American Standard, I've got a 1992, maybe it is, uh, 91 American Standard Stratocaster. And that's the neck on that feels great. Like the, it's really rounded out on the sides. It just feels really good. This guitar isn't like that so much. Like the American is a better playing guitar. This one stays in tune way better. And I replaced all of the string contact point areas on that guitar with Graphtech graphite components, which was not cheap. And it did help. It did help uh, to get, add some tuning to tuning, tuning stability, but it didn't really help as much as I wished it would have. This yellow Strat is my new favorite Strat. I really like this guitar. It's fun to play. It's a Squire. I purposely uh, kind of didn't do a real good job on the clear coat and didn't use any filler. Uh, so it's ready to go. And if it gets knocked over, well, you know what? Knock it over again. Uh, it's not going to bother me so much. So that's the yellow one. Put those knobs on there. Today was a big day for me. Recently, I stepped on a toothpick and it went all the way in between my two toes and caused an abscess. So I went, finally saw a proper foot doctor for that. and got that checked out. But I also had a couple of Goodwill resale stores and just absolutely scored some wonderful items. When I got home, a bunch of AliExpress stuff had come arrived, including this flashlight. Now this flashlight is a uh, 21700 is this, it's a type of battery. It's very similar, it's like a bigger version of a 18650, which is the battery that's in a Tesla. Now, I use 18650 batteries for a lot of things, including making music remote. So more recently, I saw this uh, rechargeable dust buster, 
like a new a nice new looking dust buster at the goodwill resale store and i picked it up it was like five dollars and i did that specifically because it didn't say NICAD on it so i thought oh this is lithium ion well when i got it home and uh tore it down i discovered it did not have lithium ion batteries in it it had nickel metal hydride these two one seven double zeros and i've never seen these before uh they're a little bit bigger than the 18650 and they hold more so uh rather than buy a charger I didn't even know if these batteries were any good. I mean, it was a real new looking dust buster. I, I found a flashlight that came with a cable. It looked like you could charge the battery in the flashlight. So that was one of the things that came today from AliExpress from China. As, and also, uh, these uh the 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 knobs for the yellow guitar knobs for the brown guitar and a, a beautiful leather strap that i'm using on this uh show guitar the cozart semi hollow body now i gotta tell you this guitar was a gift from a dear friend of mine who found it in the goodness of their heart their infinite generosity this person is an absolute saint of the Church of Satan. And uh, they are very, extremely generous to me and very loving, very kind person, always generous, always loving and kind, uh, exceptional, one of the most wonderful human beings I ever had the pleasure to know in my life, Pink Jimmy Photon, purchased this guitar for me as a gift and at this point I've finished the guitar I've got it finished so we're going to be taking a look at some pictures of the semi hollow body here is this leather strap it's got a badge that says soldier strap on it which I'm not sure about that but it's it's just a beautiful it's black leather on this really well worked tan leather Hey, what kind of scissors were those? Bonsai so. trimming scissors? Things, yeah. I got a set of bonsai tree trimming scissors today. I think Mr. Miyagi's using those in, in the Karate Kid. They're really cool, really sharp scissors. Uh, this strap, when I came home, there was a package waiting for me. You can see this strap is just beautiful. And this is on the Cozart semi-hollow body. I had replaced uh, just about everything on this guitar as well. It's got a Wilkinson tremolo system on it. The guy who bought it for me recommended uh, the, a lot of the part purchases. He gave me the part numbers. Uh, I did put a piece of black masking tape over where it said Cozart because I didn't like the way it looked. And I, now that I'm looking at that, I don't like the way that looks. So I got to find figure something else out. Maybe it's just going to say Cozart. But I did, I did black this out. I, I painted it with some black poster paint in here. Replaced the pickup. Everything on this guitar has been replaced. Just about everything except for the four screws that hold the neck in and the neck plate. And, and this metal, uh, the jack plate. But everything else has been replaced. And it is a beautiful looking beautiful sounding guitar and it plays pretty well it doesn't play as good as that yellow strat but for the type of music i'm going to be making with this is more similar to stuff that i would play on an acoustic guitar it's more finger picking it's not so much lead and and distorted it's more clean or country western style like we're doing this set of guitar instrumental music from 1948 to 1974 we're doing songs like apache doing songs like rebel rouser doing songs like ghost riders in the sky and this guitar is part of that set i also play the l strat and then at the end of the set i play my ibanez i have a white ibanez shark tooth rd 350 dx 
all of my guitars went in to see the luthier and were professionally set up. I had all of my guitars have the pickups replaced and all the guitars where I should replace the pickups. And I replaced all of the potentiometers and all the guitars where I should have replaced the potentiometers. So this guitar is finally done. I had it professionally set up. I've been playing it in this guitar instrumental set. And I'm going to send a link to this video to my old dear friend, Pink Jimmy Photon. I just wanted to thank him once again. I, I finally got this guitar really finished. I got these knobs. They're wooden, they're oaken druid knobs from the Sherwood Forest. It's enchanted oaken. The blood of many virgins was spilled to, chop, to water these trees where they chopped them down to make these knobs for my guitar. This is a uh, pewter that was forged in the flames of Hades by the servants of the Dark Lord himself. So Pinkster666 would approve. There aren't those good looking motherfucking knobs. Take a look at that. Don't you want to twiddle just looking at those? I, I know I do. I just hope I don't unleash too many hexes with all of the intricate quilt patterns of the Dark Lord embedded into the oak and oak goodness so yeah those of those knobs here i don't know i had uh, uh this liquid caffeine today I, I had a couple of hits of that and as you can see i've uh, i've shat myself and urinated that's why we had to crop the photos but man is this a good looking guitar i really think these knobs pulled the whole thing together i couldn't be a happier boy with the wilkinson tremolo setup that was recommended by pink chimney photon and uh, how beautiful this guitar is i gotta tell you with the addition i i went through a bunch of different knobs and straps and with this setup that i had on here and i normally don't spend money like this Okay, if I buy an accessory for the guitar and it doesn't look good, oh well. But considering this was gifted and I want it to really be something special, at this point in time, on July, Thursday, July 27th, 2023, at 7.47 p.m., the Cozart Semi-Hollow Body Guitar Project is officially finalized and finished with my soldier strap. <laughs> the Chinese, I love that. They think, oh, American soldiers, that's noble. Let's call it the soldier strap. Yeah. But uh, like I said, I could not be a happier boy. This is a really good looking guitar. All thanks and much love and uh, blessings, good vibes to my dear old pal, Pink Jimmy Photon. So go over there and show him some love. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, it's much more interesting stuff than mine. And if you like what I do here, you'll love what he does there because it's just much better. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to get back to, we're actually going to play our set. I bought a subwoofer today and I got these Yamaha six and a half inch, they're bi-axle speakers, plastic chassis. Yamaha, what am I talking about? They're PV. They're, a PV built these monitors for arcades and bars. And I got a pair of them for 29 bucks off of an online auction. And they sound phenomenal. Today I was out, I got an 8-inch, a beefy 8-inch JVC subwoofer that's in a little tiny box that's about 10 inches by 10 inch square. So we're going to set that up with a little, it's a pile. You ever see that brand? Pile of shit, man. I got a little pile, 30 watt amp, 15 watts per channel. And we're going to uh, hook that up to our brand new Behringer mixer. I got a Behringer 1204 uh, FX. It's the mixer that has the built-in digital effects, one knob compression. And I got that. We I set it up and it didn't work. At first, I unscrewed it, looked in there, it looked all SMT. I thought, oh, maybe an op amp is blown. Put it back together and it works. <laughs> so that's what's new with me. I'm doing great here. It's super hot. Um, I have quit drinking since January. I have not been drinking alcohol. I've taken a, 
a, a more healthier uh, life path, but I'm still the same old me. So if you're uh, here catching up with me, I'm doing great, I'm doing fine, and I, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to thank my old friend, Pink Shimmy Photon, for his generosity, this gift of this guitar. I didn't like it at first. I couldn't get it to play right. I took it to this guy, Tully, to have a pro set up. Tully was the guy that set up Dimebag Daryl's guitars. He's got a Dean Dime guitar that is custom. It's signed to Tully from Dimebag Daryl, hanging up in his shop. And uh, Tully was the head of Washburn's R&D and he did the QC off the line when they were Washburn Chicago, when they made the guitars here in Chicago. So that's my guitar setup guy. And he's charging 50 bucks for setup at the time I had all this work done. Now he's raised it. Just in time when I got my last guitar set up by him, I took the last two in and got them back and he had raised the price <laughs> to 75 so that's my story i'm sticking to it you guys take care of yourselves try to keep cool and most importantly hug your pets that's what i'd ask you to do and peace <laughs>